No, I have a severe case of spring fever, and I am not going to drown it. In work, I am going to indulge it. And then this evening, I am going to reward me in an absolutely delicious way for having survived being locked in a room with some very <laughs> boring people on a very beautiful day. Well, I hope your plans include me. You know they do. Mm. Here are your messages, Mrs. Woodard. <laughs> <laughs> you deliver messages very nicely, Mr. Pavel. Much nicer than Marion. So, what's it gonna be? Theater, concert, what? Oh, anything. As long as it's with you. <laughs> I don't know if I've told you this before, but it's so good to be back with you again. Second chances are sometimes better than first ones because you really get to appreciate what you have when you almost lose it. This can't even compare to the feeling that I had when we first were lovers. I've never been this happy. Same thing is true for me. Well, if it's up to me, it's going to stay that way. There's no return address on it. Let me see. What is so interesting? Mm -hmm. Michael, give it to me. Well, if this is true, this is some story. <laughs> okay, Finelli, what's so funny? Wes Leonard's column. As much as it annoys me to admit it. Why does that annoy you? Now, oh, general principles. I haven't even started my own column, which is due tomorrow. I haven't even come up with a topic yet. You will, and it'll be great. Oh, Wes may be funny, but you're terrific. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Oh, I could use some more of that. Um, what else? Um, determined, mm -hmm. caring, reliable. You have that Roger Mudd sort of trustworthiness. Old Wes, on the other hand, follows a school of journalism unflatteringly described by Fran Lebowitz. Fran Lebowitz. Oh, come on, Finelli. Don't tell me you've never read her. Sorry. Well, she says there's two schools of journalism. The first is what you do, hard work and research. The second... Uh, she calls the irresponsible wag approach, which involves lying on the sofa, talking on the phone, and making things up. Oh, it sounds like she got old Wes's number. Yeah, that's probably where she got her idea. How come, uh, after this inspiring pep talk about how uh, terrific and trustworthy I am, I'm in the mood to lie in bed and be an irresponsible wag? You're secretly jealous of Wes Leonard? Nah, what's to be jealous of? He doesn't have you. Uh -huh. I'm beginning to sense a shift in the focus of this conversation. You do? Hmm. I'm very sensitive to those things. I'm a private detective. This is good. Mm -hmm. Let's, uh, make sure nothing uh, happens to it. Right, it's a damn good story. What do we do with it? I'll give it to somebody good and let him run with it. All right, Jack Finelli. No. Not necessarily. How about Wes Leonard? We're paying him an enormous salary. Let's see if he's worth it. Oh, I don't know. Um... Come on, Michael. I know you don't like Wes, but come on, let's give it, him no, a no, shot. No, no, no. It's not. It's not personal. Uh, I, it's just that. Well, we pay him a lot of money to to be amusing and. Anybody who can find something amusing in bus and subway increases deserves everything he makes, but I, I just don't think this is exactly the right story for him. Well, it's probably exactly that approach that has formed his style. On the other hand, it is definitely a very unique style. All right. 
We go with Finelli. Right. Soaps? Relive the biggest mystery in history. You know? When the stars count the reasons we love soaps. You make love anywhere on a soap. They're fun. The plotting and scheming. Sex. Back to back episodes of Dallas filled with exclusive interviews that will leave you. <laughs> it's all part of 100 Reasons We Love Soaps. Saturday, February 10th, starting at 1. Are you ready to get your game on? Is this just a rebound thing or what? Every weekend, SoapNet's got all the action from your favorite teams. That championship belt should have been mine. Watch as the Cowboys. I don't know if I can keep this a secret. Take on the Titans. Back off. Go to hell. The Saints. We're ahead. Tackle the Chiefs. No respect. And the Giants battle it out amongst themselves. Drop dead. Play catch up with your favorite players. Here's to lying. This is great. Watch SoapNet's weekend marathons. It's one big night of day's confessions, obsessions, and transgressions. Spend Sunday nights in Salem starting at 7 on SoapNet. I love this. I started flying when I was 10 years old, and I just never stopped flying. My name is Andy Haynes. I'm a pilot. When I'm in the sky, I get this real sense of clarity, as if I can solve any problem. Every day, I try to get the most out of life. Now I want to get the most out of Medicare. That's why I chose Secure Horizons. I get Part D prescription drug coverage, which is great. Every time I've seen my doctor, the co-payment was always the same. I get vision and hearing benefits, and you know how important vision is to a pilot. They have these great wellness programs. They have a large network of doctors and hospitals, and I don't pay a penny more than I'm already paying for Medicare. Get the most out of Medicare. Call now to get this free package to learn more about Secure Horizons Medicare Advantage Health Plans. My wife and I looked at all the plans out there, and Secure Horizons made it all so easy for us. They have an 800 number, they answered all of our questions, and we felt confident that we made the best selection. If you're not satisfied with your current plan, call now for more information about switching to a Secure Horizons health plan by March 31st to get benefits like Heart D prescription drug coverage for over 1,300 brand name and generic prescription drugs. Over 60,000 network pharmacies accept our Medicare drug plans. Predictable costs for doctor visits and medical services, vision and hearing benefits, wellness programs to help keep you healthy and independent. And in most places, Secure Horizons health plans don't cost a penny more than you're already paying for original Medicare. They say when you want to get your bearings, look to the horizon. And now, Secure Horizons is showing me the way. Live secure, be secure. Call Secure Horizons by United Healthcare. You can switch plans until March 31st. Yeah? Hello, uh, Jack? Yeah, it's Michael Pavel. <sighs> yeah, Michael, what is it? Mrs. Woodard would like to speak to you. Jack, would it be convenient for you to meet with me this afternoon? I'll uh, make it convenient. Give me some idea what it's about. A story, and you're the perfect reporter to handle it. Yeah, I like the sound of that. <laughs> you're gonna like it even better when you hear the details. Let's say uh, my office, uh, one o'clock. Right. Well, that's the end of our plans. Uh, I have a one o'clock appointment with Ray Woodard. Some special assignment or something. I'm sorry, Rose. That's all right. Deep down, I really knew you didn't have it in you to be an irresponsible wag. Hey, listen, if you think you're going to be held up there, I can pick up Ryan after school. Well, don't you have work to do? Well, don't you beat everything. Just because you have to work, you want the whole world to have to work. <laughs> Actually, I do have one little piece of business I have to tend to. But I'll be finished way before 3 o'clock. Let's make it definite. I'll pick up Ryan after school, and I'll take her to the dollhouse store. 
and I'll have her back here by five. That'll give you a head start on your big story. You don't have to do that. Did it ever occur to you that I might want to do that? It Go to the dollhouse store, especially since they're having a sale on wallpaper. I mean, to tell you the truth, I'm just bringing the kid along for cover. Okay, okay, okay. You've got Ryan for the afternoon. But if I get out of the uh, meeting with Ray early enough, I'll meet you at a school and we'll go to the sale together, okay? Otherwise, we'll meet back here like planned, five o'clock. Great. You have dinner with us? Mm, I'll let you know at five o'clock. Depends on how my business goes this afternoon. Mm. What do you have to do? Oh, just some routine stuff I've been putting off too long. Matthew hates unfinished business, and I want to clear it up before he gets back. Will he be home soon? Yep. Yeah, well, you know, I'm not too wild about unfinished business myself. Mm -hmm. And I think that maybe we just have enough time to finish some before we both have to go to work. <laughs> You got a real nice view of the ocean. The water's a little chilly for swimming yet, but there's a heated pool. The weather's fine for ocean fishing. You ever done any of that? Yeah, once or twice. I think I might like to take my wife out this week. Maybe you could give us a little advice on uh, where to rent a boat and some gear, huh? It is after we've had a little time to rest. Glad to. Uh, the champagne you ordered's on ice. Great. There you go. Thanks a lot. Thank you, sir. Ocean fishing. Is this another kidnapping? Oh, I don't have to kidnap you. I've got you all to myself now. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm. Oh, it's so beautiful here. Everything's in bloom out there. Oh, and the air. Mm. Mm. Smell. Well, everything out there will keep, I think. I've got all the heaven I want right here. Oh, God, you look beautiful. I have been waiting for this moment for a year. in advance. If I remember correctly, surprise what? is a crucial mm -hmm. element. Yeah, well, I guess you're right. I'll have to work on that. <sighs> Champagne? Mm -hmm. Oh, Joe, this is going to be a perfect week. Well, let's drink to that. Hmm? To our second honeymoon and all that's to follow. A lifetime of happiness with all the love and devotion I can give you. I promise you that. Mm. And I promise you love, devotion, happiness, and trust. Trust means more to me than I could ever tell you. It's such a new experience. I'll, I'll never take it for granted. I hope someday you will be able to take it for granted. For me, my family, mm. the world. And if you love me and tell me the truth always, I can handle anything. I can handle the world. The truth, that's all you ask. I think you're the only person on earth who could say that so easily. And the rest of the world lives in its facade and games, but not you. Well, I 
think your attitude is starting to rub off on me, though. <laughs> yeah. I told you before how the truth was getting easier for me all the time, mm -hmm. right? I had to start being honest with myself before I could be with anyone else. But once I could do that, then I had it. The truth. Which is... I love you more than I could imagine loving anyone ever. I never would have believed I could change so much for one person and that I would even want to. I was lucky to find you once, but to have a second chance. And I am going to make it work this time. And nothing and no one is going to get in the way of what I want with you. And what is that? Us. Both of us. So involved with each other that the rest of the world doesn't matter. We're going to build a life for ourselves. Something no one can question. And later on, we will have children. Once we've gotten to know each other again. And I will tell you the truth. Always. Tonight on Soapnet, a villain becomes a victim. Nobody's sorry that Spencer's dead. In a town where everybody has a motive. It's finally done. We can have some peace. The hunt for a killer begins. Nobody is going to find out what happened in that hospital room. Watch One Life to Live, tonight at 9 on Soapnet. In the tradition of Benifer, Tomcat, and Brangelina, Soapnet's got Kayla, Bo, and Jolena. Follow your favorite Salem super couples every move in prime time. Watch Days of Our Lives, tonight at 11, only on Soapnet. In 1990, Kelly Ripa got her start on All My Children as Haley Vaughn. Five years later, Haley got a new love interest, Mateo Santos, played by Mark Consuelos. It turns out the fireworks weren't just an act. They married in 1996. It was the perfect kingdom until 1-1 changed it all. Unravel happily ever after. I am not going to let you get away with this. Cinderella 3, A Twist in Time, on DVD February 6th, Lady G. Did I tell you? My doctor told me about this new low-dose birth control pill. It's called Yaz. Yeah. It's the only 24-day design pill with a unique hormone, DRSP. Right. DRSP is a different kind of hormone that may increase potassium. So you shouldn't take Yaz if you have kidney, liver, or adrenal disease because this could cause serious heart and health problems. Tell your doctor if you're on daily long-term treatment for a chronic condition like cardiovascular disease or chronic inflammatory disease. The pill does not protect against HIV or STDs. Serious risks include blood clots, stroke, and heart attacks, so women especially over 35 shouldn't smoke. Wow, you really know your stuff. I didn't go to medical school for nothing. <laughs> Show off. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Yaz can also help when it comes to that time of the month. Seriously, talk to your doctor about Yaz. My patients ask about it all the time. Own a timeshare or campground membership? Turn it into cash. Timeshares only got us our full asking price before our next monthly payment was due. Timeshares only is the nation's largest, number one, most successful timeshare agency, representing properties from the biggest names in the industry. No one sells more timeshares. Call now and receive a free information kit, including 10 secrets to timeshares. You owe it to yourself to work with the best. Don't delay. Call 800-910-8498. It's true. The only time we think about electricity is when the power goes out. Then every minute seems like an eternity. Luckily, as a member of a Touchstone Energy Cooperative, the people working on our behalf have the training, high-tech resources, and motivation to restore power as quickly and as safely as humanly possible. See what I mean? When it comes to electricity, you know you have an outstanding team working for you when you hardly notice them at all.
some people really know how to move. When you're moving, we'll get your Direct TV up and running in your new place free. Just make one call to Direct TV Movers Connection and arrange a date to move your service. It's free, it's easy, and it's one less thing to worry about. Call 1-866-WAY-YOU-MOVE. That's the way to move without missing a beat. I like the way you move. Oh, Rose, you look miserable. Let's have it. Hey, look, I didn't come here to burden you with my problems. Well, you should. It's not good to keep them all locked up inside. I mean, you ought to know that. For how long it took you to tell Giovanni about... Don't. Do not say his name to me. Uh-oh. So tell. What's there to tell? We're not seeing each other anymore. It's that simple. Oh, I'm sorry, kid. I wish I could do something to make you feel better. Hey, you care. That's the most anyone can do right now. Well, I can also give you some advice. I don't think you should stay home alone tonight. Look, I have been to every neighborhood movie. I mean, there, it is no better sitting in a movie theater alone than it is sitting alone in front of your TV set. Well, you shouldn't be alone. That's it. That's the point, no matter where. Yeah, but I've been seeing Giovanni for so long, I don't know how to get a date anymore. And you know how it is. Once you're taken, nobody asks you. And I'm not about to uh, call up my old boyfriends and say, hi, how about taking me out? I've just been jilted. You don't have to do that. I got an idea. I'm going to call Sal, and I'll have him fix up one of his friends with you. And... Oh, Lori, no. You know how miserable blind dates can be, especially when you're feeling down. Hmm. I'll tell you what. We'll go along. We'll make it a double date. It'll be like a small party with old friends. And if you don't like the guy, you can talk to us. But I'm sure Sal will fix you up with somebody really terrific. I don't know. Oh, come on. We'll go to dinner. Then we'll go to that comedy movie they've been advertising on the television so much. Unless you saw it on your movie binge. No, but I really oh, don't... Oh, come on. It'll make you feel better to go out. But I really don't want to go. Well, that's even more reason why you should go out. What do you say? Sure. Good. <laughs> well, have a good time. Promise. Maybe Sal will fix you up with Joe Novak. Are you serious? Nah, no, nah, I heard he's back with his wife. Oh, well. Well, we can ask Sal for the information. So, are they in touch? Mmm, I don't know, I can't get it straight. But anyway, you can ask Sal when you see him. Yeah, I'll have to do that. Oh, Rose, we'll have a good time, really. Thanks. <laughs> what have I done without you all these years? <laughs> Tell you what. I'll call you at about six. Give me your number, and I'll see if, you know, what I've arranged, and I'll let you know, all right? It's 555-3635. Uh, five, 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 three, three, five. Okay. Well, I'd better get home and start fixing myself up. You better. You know, you're too much. <laughs> Thanks again. Oh, you're welcome. Look, you've cheered up already. I know. I feel a lot better. Great. See you later. I'll see you. Ryan's Hope is on next. Then unravel all the lies on the young and the restless. Later, it's all my children on SoapNet. Have you noticed, sir, the halo that's around my head? I don't want to be answerable to anybody else on the face of this earth. Ryan's Hope, next on SoapNet. Now it begins. Everybody stay where you are. The day-by-day -day countdown to the climax. These guys never known this hotel sky high. Luke returns to meet his old enemy. What's your game, Bowman? Is Scott behind it all? If my kid gets hurt once and for all, you are done. And inside. I mean business. <laughs> villainy. She's bleeding and I don't know how to stop it. And heroism. You want to shoot somebody? I'm right here. Ladies first. Change on ABC and SoapNet. You've heard us guarantee that if your power chair or scooter claim is denied, we'll give it to you free. If you've thought that sounded too good to be true, it's not. Let me tell you why. We've become experts in working with your doctor to identify your mobility needs and your Medicare insurance benefits to determine if a power chair or scooter can help you regain your mobility. It's a thorough process called the Guaranteed Freedom Program.
While only one out of 10 people that call us complete the whole program, the Scooter Store has still helped more people regain their mobility than any other provider in America. And when you complete our program, you will regain your mobility, your claim will be approved, and you'll pay little to nothing. Or like we've always promised, if your claim is denied, we'll give you your power chair or scooter absolutely free. If you or someone you love is living with limited mobility, call the Scooter Store today. Call 1-800-717-0619. That's 1-800-717-0619. Thank you, Michael. Ray? Good afternoon, Jack. Please take a seat. Uh, by the way, you can put in a voucher for the cab fare. How'd you know? You're here on time, so obviously you didn't rely on public transportation. As you pointed out rather brilliantly in that column a few weeks ago on the MTA. It was good work. I meant to call you and tell you, I don't know what happened, something came up. Well, better late than never. Hmm. Thanks. You're welcome. You deserved it. And you deserve this. It would be real big if you can collect enough facts to prove those allegations. It just came in the mail this morning, and Michael and I are, well, excited. Chief maintenance engineer of a petrochemical plant in New Jersey, which he doesn't name. Proof of illegal disposal of toxic waste. Danger to the community water supply. And families, and children, and future generations, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Mm -hmm. Or else he's concerned with putting his own kids through college. I've been in these stores before. They uh, frequently come with a price tag. All right, maybe. But maybe not. In any case, it certainly can't hurt to give him a call. Look, usually I am opposed to paying sources. But on this particular one, I think that we take it as it comes. If it isn't outrageous, and if in your judgment it's worth it, then you're authorized. Bottom line, I just think it's too good to pass it by. Okay, this guy has proof that his company is dumping toxic material into the water supply. We've got a story. <laughs> we, uh, we may even find some other things, too. I've heard of plants dumping chemicals by driving their tank trucks down back roads with their valves wide open. They've also been known to uh, dump large drums of toxic material in abandoned warehouses. The, uh... Penalties are a lot stiffer now, but they're very hard to enforce. Ray, it would give me great pleasure to nail some of these guys. I thought you might feel like that. Okay, so you take your time and bring me the proof. Right. All right, I will uh, call this guy uh, at this number between 6 and 10 tonight. If that's it, I'll start on my background uh, wait uh, research. Wait a minute. Uh, I'll walk out with you, okay? Michael, I'll be back in about 15 minutes. I just want to go down to Laura Dornbush and find out what is holding up her department. I find it's kind of fun every once in a while to throw a panic in the troops by making a personal appearance. Take care, Michael. Thank you. You too. Okay. Well, I'll make it fast. Um, the papers arrived, and I got Jack Finelli assigned to it, and he just took off now to start doing some research. Very good. Thank you very much. Who is that? Oh, it was the desk. They wished us a good stay, and they said they forgot to tell us that the dining room was open for lunch till I think it was 2, <laughs> and we'll reopen for dinner at 5.30. Uh -huh. Helpful, huh? <laughs> Go back to sleep, sweetheart.
the judge adjourned early. Oh. Don't get up, don't get up. Hi. Hi. I had this wonderful dinner planned. It would be all ready, and you'd walk in just as I was lighting the candles. Oh, you don't need to do that. I know, but I wanted the to. The truth is, Faith, I'm not all that hungry. Are you sick? No, I don't seem to be. No. Come on over here. Sit okay, down. all right. Well, I have this incredible asparagus. Look at this. Later, maybe. Okay. okay. Oh, and this bread. Mmm. Yum. Oh, I wanted to do this all the way home. Do you know what it's like to walk with a fresh loaf of bread right under your nose? Yeah. yeah. So how was court? It was not terribly interesting. All, all the usual motions to postpone. <laughs> That's the first thing lawyers do, isn't it? They file for an extension to put it off. Not always. Sometimes it's better to get right to it. Do you want to hear about my day? Okay. I mean, it wasn't all that interesting. It was the usual paperwork. So all the right people know exactly what we're doing in the program. And see, I'd much rather be with my patients. Did I tell you about the 18-year-old girl Faith. who, uh, she started drinking when she was 12? Faith. I've been trying to talk to you for a couple of days now. I know. I'm sorry. We've just had a string of interruptions, haven't we? No more, okay? Okay. Tonight is our night. You have to admit, they were nice interruptions. Your Aunt Annie came in and that marvelous party last night. After the party, you'll never know just how much I love you. I never knew your father played the harmonica. That was just so calming and so peaceful and safe. Oh, I forgot. How's your cut? I was going to ask you the minute I walked in the door. Did you, was it all right today? I am so stupid sometimes. Nice interruptions. That was not including your accident. Tell me. It's fine. Faith, I need to get at this. I need to talk to you and tell you a million things. No, I... One thing, I... That's what it comes down to. It's all I've thought about since I came back from the beach house. Okay. Go ahead. I love you. That's the first thing. I knew that. And I love Jill, too. I knew that, too. I said that I had had it in place. I thought that was true. It wasn't. I just realized it. Well, it's all right. It's going to take some time. We've agreed about that. No. Frank, no. I know you were upset that she showed up at the party last night. We both love her. And we're hurting her, in a sense. And we have mixed reactions, but I think it's important to look at them. You don't understand. I'm telling you that I still love Jill. I'm still in love with her. Dramatic. It's addictive. Soap Net is hot. It's fun and it's fresh. If people can't catch us during the day, we're on prime time. You always hear I'm at work, and I'm so tired of that excuse. You get to see it on the weekend if you missed anything during the week. Now my mom can watch all the episodes that she normally misses. This is just great. No excuses now. You must see our show. The Young and the Restless. All my children. One life to live. General Hospital. Days of our lives. Soap Net. Soap Net. Soap Net. The new way to watch soaps. Wednesday. We're gonna bring them home. Lost returns. Damn it, run! At an all new time, 10 9 Central. We can't leave Jeff behind. 16 all new episodes and no repeats. This season delivers like no other show on television. Lost returns. Wednesday at a new time, 10 9 Central. Only on ABC. What can you get for a buck? Can't get gas for a buck. 
can't get a loaf of bread for a buck. You can't even get a cup of coffee for a buck. But you can get million dollar abs for a buck. Because now, one dollar lets you try the Ab Lounge XL system. Discover the secret to million dollar abs for just a buck. With over four million sold, Ab Lounge is the new gold standard in abdominal exercise. And now the Ab Lounge XL million dollar abs are just a buck away. This deal is absolutely insane because now you can try the complete Ab Lounge XL system for a full 30 days with free shipping and handling on delivery. Not for the usual $14.95, but for just $1. Backbreaking crunches are obsolete. Ab Lounge XL's jackknife motion gets you up off the floor, stretching beyond 180 degrees for ultimate results. Every move counts as you target your abs without wasted effort. Our $1 deal is absolutely real, and so are these million-dollar results. The results indicate that you're going to get a tremendous uh, abdominal workout, both for the upper and lower abs, as well as the obliques using the ab lounge. When people ask me if the ab lounge works, I tell them it's amazing. It got rid of my pot belly. If it can do that, it can do anything. Ab Lounge XL is built with a rolled steel frame, features breathable mesh, custom foot pedals, cushioned ISO grips, and focus strap, and stores just about anywhere. Each Ab Lounge XL system includes an ab blasting DVD, healthy eating guide, two week jumpstart program, and aerobic workout. Call now to try the Ab Lounge XL for 30 days for just $1. We'll even pick up the shipping and handling. We know you'll love it, but if for some reason you don't, simply call within the trial period. Send the system back and you'll have no additional payments. Best of all, if you return the Ab Lounge XL because it's not for you, we'll even refund your dollar. Call for details. So what can you get for a buck? You can get this greasy hamburger for a buck. Or you can discover the secret to million dollar abs. Stop. And don't come in here and close your eyes. All right. Even closed. <laughs> I got gotcha. you. Now. Well, what's going on? It's my night off, and I'm giving a party. And you're the only guest I invited. Well. Oh, how's that for an enthusiastic reaction, eh? OK, come on, sit down. Now, will you do the honors, or shall I? No, 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 I uh, better have something to eat. I never quite got around to lunch today. Oh, poor baby. You get caught in surgery and couldn't get out? That's OK because we have tons of food. Now, they're all in the form of hors d'oeuvres, but that's because that's what I do best. And do you mind? I spent hours curling the carrots. Thank you. You're welcome. I mailed the letter today. I'm officially out of the feature film. Is that what you really want to do? Now, we went into that last night. I don't want a movie. I want a baby. At least for right now. Don't tell me I have to think about it some more. Having a baby requires 20 years of care and love and responsibility. It is a huge investment, and you don't make it unless you're very sure you want to. I do. Just like that, huh? Yes. No, I've considered it very carefully. I spent all yesterday and all today considering. Please believe me. And smile. You haven't smiled at me in... Seems like a long, long time. I'm lonesome for you. Let me make you happy. Is that why you want a baby, to make me happy? Has it occurred to you that you might resent a child for holding you back or stopping your career? And then you'd resent me, and then I'd resent you, and the baby would be caught right in the middle, and we would be three miserable people? Has that possibility occurred to you? No. Does Barry know you turned down the movie? What? Yes! Of course, I told him he's sorry, but he understands. Did you call him? No, should I? No, I mean... Did he read your letter? Yes. I mean, I read it to him over the phone. Stop questioning me, please. What does he think the producer would say? He said... He thought... He said he understood, too. What is this? Am I under arrest? Are you the police? You're impossible. 
I'm sorry if I've disturbed you. Where are you going? I have some reading to do, and then I'm turning in early. Seneca! months, Faith, I didn't know. That you were still in love with Jill? Yes. But you know all of a sudden now. It's been coming on. There have been moments as the anger went away. I had no idea how angry I was. Wait, wait, I'm, I'm confused. You love me. And you love her. You're, you're still in love with her and you're angry. Are you telling me this so I can help you? I want to find an answer. Okay. Faith. Wait, I, honey, it's just going to take me some time to work through this, to, to understand it. But you know I will help you. Did little John call? Because he was going to make a date to sleep over in his new loft bed. No, he didn't. Please. Can we stay with this? Sure. I, I'm just going to put the groceries away. Faith, we've been so... We've been so honest with each other. I couldn't go around with this in my head and not tell you. These last few days, no matter what I tried to do, it, whatever, work, sleep, even running, all I could think about was you and Jill and the wedding. No, I got it. No, I got, I got it. it. There is nothing breakable in here. No eggs. <laughs> Did you tell Jill? Yes. Oh. And nothing happened. Nothing happened? What was supposed to happen? Nothing was resolved. Well, you needed me for that. Yes. <laughs> what did you say? Did you just say, Jill, I'm still in love with you? More or less, she didn't want to hear it. So you said it again? I let her know what's been going on with me, that beneath all the anger about Ken, there was still so much that I can't go ahead with our plans when I'm still tied to her. Whatever this bond is, I... Wait, 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 wait. Please. I mean, I'm lost. You are tied to Jill. How? Does that mean you want to marry her? No, there's no future for us. So you don't want to marry her? We didn't discuss marriage, Faith. We, we had our chances, and we missed them. There's, that's what happened. There's nothing to change that. I am, I'm confused. Jill isn't between us somehow. Isn't that what you're communicating to me? She is between us, unwillingly on her part, but she is between us. And by acknowledging that doesn't mean that I would marry her instead. Well, what does it mean? It means that I have to be fair to you. And being fair, the whole truth and nothing but the truth. Oh, you're right. I didn't understand before. I'm, I'm... I definitely felt threatened. Well, you were so grim when I walked in. I, I thought it was all off with us and it was all on with Jill. Faith. You are so much like Siobhan right now, I can't believe it. I mean, if you're not content until you just blurt out everything. Faith, no. You can't walk, you can't talk, you can't run. Was that what you were thinking about when you were running and the car side swept you? Yes. Oh, honey, look, look, wait, we will find an answer to this. Of course we will. Um, you have a residual feeling for Jill, and you have a present feeling for me. I mean, love, in love, what's the difference? Do I understand now? Do I have it right? No, no, not fully. 
Then you better explain to me in one syllable words because I was about to overreact right up the wall. Imagining Jill in my wedding dress. You love me. I'm holding on to that. Finish. Faith. I do love you more than I could ever put in words. I wanted to give you everything, happiness. I wanted to give you all of the happiness in the world. I wanted to gather it up and deliver it at your feet, but I'm not able to, being tied to Jill that way. It doesn't not, matter. It, it does. You need, you deserve a certain kind of marriage, 100% from both of us. I don't. And I, I realize that's not possible with me. Being fair to you means I don't marry you. a special night, then we are damn well gonna have one. <laughs> Melrose Place. Blink at your own risk. Look at me! All My Children is on fire. I love how you say that. Bianca and Zoe's passion has never been hotter. You're reading my mind. I know your heart. Who would dare keep them apart? I love you. Watch All My Children, weeknights at 8 on SoapNet. Just what I was looking for. Hillary B. Smith has a plan. I can't wait. Let's go. To get Wally into a New York state of mind. Look, there's the Statue of Liberty. Take a bite of the Big Apple. How nice is this? And hear a lifetime of stories. Now can I buy you a drink? When Wally spends one day with Hillary B. Smith. Saturday at 12.30, only on SoapNet. and everyone. Find yours at becomeanmm.com. Two rival lawyers. One messing divorce. I'm so mad. And a case of mutual attraction. What we do in our spare time is nobody's business. Miss Bedford and I are having an intimate relationship. Let the courtship begin. May the best man win. She will. A Hallmark Channel original movie. We need to talk. Not now. Would you two like to be alone? Love is a four-letter word, only on Hallmark Channel. Porter Jarrett. Why can the sharpest knives cut through anything? The secret's in the steel. And now the indestructible steel that creates the sharpest knives has been forged into a razor. Introducing the Lady Infinity Razor with blades so sharp and durable it comes with a lifetime replacement guarantee. Carbon injected steel is fused with tungsten carbide, so every razor stays new blade sharp. This is the last razor you ever have to buy. To prove it, we shaved grit off sandpaper and then shaved these sexy legs, touchably close. Why spend hundreds on replacement blades when the Lady Infinity will last a a lifetime. Call now and your Lady Infinity Razor is only $19.95 with a double guarantee, a lifetime replacement guarantee, and a 30-day money-back guarantee. Call right now. We'll double your order. Buy one, get one free. Plus, we'll add this six-piece Infinity Manicure Set, a $15 value free, and this seven-inch chef's knife, a $30 value free. It's an $85 value, only $19.95. Call now. They came to break a nation's will. But one man stood to defy them. From the producers of Hero and Crouching Tiger, Jet Li in his final martial arts epic, Jet Li's Fearless. Now available on pay-per-view and enter the Ultimate Li Fearless Sweeps. For a chance to win a trip to an upcoming UFC event in Las Vegas, visit www.directtv.com slash fearless for details. Jet Li's Fearless. Order it now on DirecTV pay-per-view. With you. Oh? 
Yeah, I killed myself tonight trying to make it special and you walked out on me and you are never going to do that to me again. I'm reading, Kim. You were reading. Now you're listening to me. Pick it up. What do you think I am, Seneca? Some kind of slave without a brain? that goes around 10 paces behind you. I'm your fountain of youth, or else I can keep my mouth shut. Well, I'm a person, and I know what I want. And if I say I want a baby, I want a baby! You're hysterical. Yeah, I'm hysterical, and I love it. I'm trying to talk to you. I'm trying to reach you. And you walk away. I go to your office, I call you, I buy wine. I practically send you flowers. Oh, wonderful. Now you're going to take your shower and toddle off to bed. I can't even get you to make love to me. Stop it. I'm going to stay up all night and get drunk and there's nothing you can stop. What do you think you're doing? Stop it. Stop it. I hate you. I hate you. You have to leave me alone. I hate you. and drama on the young and the restless then catch today's all my children and one life to live on soapnet he's got game women give their number to jt all the time if you say so he's got the girl i'm not leaving early tonight why because you can't bear to be away from me no because i'm really hungry <laughs> but one mistake is all it takes to get busted i wouldn't call what you did nothing jt sleeping with my dad's fiance is not nothing mr romantic screw up already that didn't take long. Get to know J.T. Hellstrom, a real heartbreaker with a heart. All I want to do is throw it over. Is that possible? The Young and the Restless, next on SoapNet. If you're not watching... Get out! You're missing... He's using you! Get the scoop at SoapNet.com. You're exhausting me. And watch Another World on SoapNet today at 1. General Hospital is on fire. You may witness something you don't want to see. Go on a journey of terror. How could you do this? When a hostage crisis takes over Port Charles. You don't want to be caught in the middle. Who will survive? I'm on my way. Watch General Hospital, weeknights at 10 on SoapNet. That demented grandmother is behind all of this. Go see Mommy. <laughs> Hi, sweetie. Oh, what's this? Dinner for me? Oh. Bring your busy family to the table with new Country Crock deluxe side dishes, like scalloped potatoes, sliced russet potatoes in a creamy cheese sauce. Mmm, you two make me feel so special. <laughs> yes, teamwork. <laughs> <laughs> new Shed's Country Crock deluxe side dishes, ready in just five minutes in your grocer's meter deli section. Nowadays, you gotta have plastic. That's where a green dot comes in. You don't even need a bank account. You can use it anywhere. You can use a Visa debit card. You load it, so you control it. It's a prepaid Visa card. No overdraft. No penalty. It's easy to get. It's easy to use. Shop online. Get all those TV offers. Get cash from ATMs. I can pay bills over the phone. With my green dot card. It's a lot safer than walking around with cash. You lose your card? Always get a replacement. It takes my money. Green dot prepaid reloadable Visa. Available at your neighborhood stores. I think we're finally to the heart of the matter. Faith, I can't marry you or... Out of being fair. Yes. Because you love me. It sounds ridiculous, I know, but I love you so much, too much to marry you, knowing Knowing that, that you're in love with my sister. Yeah, I got that. That's straight in my head. Question. Have you decided, or, or do I have some say in the matter? I've decided. You've decided. Just close the iron door. Oh, this can't be happening. I think this cannot be happening. I know. You don't. 
You don't have a clue what I'm thinking or feeling right now. If you knew me one-tenth as well as you think you do, as I thought you did, first of all, you'd never say that I wanted 100% out of this relationship. It was fine when there was 50. And then when you gave me 60 or 70, I was thrilled. It was like gravy. Gravy, because I was satisfied with so much less. I want a certain kind of marriage. Of course I do. And as that means me and Frank. And what percentage he doesn't give, I will. I'll give 150, 200 percent. I'm good at that. Did I ask you to marry me? No. You asked me. You asked me to set a date. You asked me to move the date. What I should have done is run. Run like crazy. Nothing like a little resistance. What does that mean? Then Jill had all the right tack. She says, stay out of my life, and you say, knock, knock, let me in. Faith, that's not so, and I think you know it. Avoidance, that is one thing you can't resist. Jill is so smart. Faith, she's not interested in me. She's not involved in the... Not actively. Well, it... passively she put up one hell of a fight. The last thing she wants is to fight with you. She told me to marry you. She insisted. The old stop it, I love it routine. No. Well, what right does Jill have to insist anything? What right does Jill have? She doesn't claim a right. She, she was afraid for you. She was afraid I'd... I'd hurt you. You have. You are right this moment. If you're breaking this engagement, is that what you're doing? Yes. Well, it hurts, but it's not the worst pain I've had in my life. But it makes me want to hurt you. Say anything you want. I love you. <laughs> Funny, that it's the only thing I want to say to you. And I hate Jill, and that's all I want to say to her. Hey, listen, stay here. Talk. Talk about what? About all the little alarm bells I've had in my head every time I see the two of you together. Talk about how I ignored them. No, Jill's not after Frank. You have alarm bells in your head because you're paranoid and jealous of my gypsy sister. Oh, what a fool! Faith, you're wrong. You have this all upside down. It's not being fair to any of us. It's not being fair to any of us. Fair. There you go with the word again. Fair means that you won't marry me. And I'll never forget that. It's such a pithy little statement. Four minutes of boiling water. What else could I do? I never lied to you. I couldn't start now. I love you too much. You're the best thing that's ever happened oh, to me. This is my sister? Right. Enjoy your dinner. Faith. All right. Maybe I should have known I... What else could I do? What else could I? Maybe I should have known. Maybe I should have listened to everyone who warned me to stay away from you. I, I'm sorry. I'm not sorry for anything either one of us did. It wasn't us. And it wasn't Jillian either. Oh! Faith. The word's right out of my mouth. Mother, it's not Jill. It's my fault. Blame me. Well, I have watched her play her innocent games for years. This time, she takes the blame. Faith, if you go flying good out... Good night and goodbye. Don't miss an episode of the groundbreaking daytime classic, Another World. Head to Bay City for unbelievable glitz, glamour, and heartbreak. Another World, today at 1 on SoapNet.